first we will find s1 so s1 will be integration ds theta for s1 is going from 0 to pi by 6 so we will have integration of theta going from 0 to pi by 6 ds ds is 3a cos theta sin theta d theta 3a is constant so we can take it out of the integration we have integration of theta going from 0 to pi by 6 cos theta sin theta d theta now if you see this term if we take this term as f of theta then this term will be f dash of theta okay so we have the direct formula that is f of theta into f dash of theta and f of theta the whole raised to n d theta is nothing but f of theta the whole raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 in our case n is 1 and f of theta is sin theta so sin theta the whole raised to n plus 1 n is 1 so 1 plus 1 that is sin theta square upon 2 so here we apply the lower limits of theta and upper limits of theta so we have 3a upon 2 and when we put theta equal to pi by 6 here we will have sine of pi by 6 the whole square sine pi by 6 is nothing but sine 30 sine 30 is half and half square is 1 by 4 minus when we put theta equal to 0 here uh, we will get sine of 0 the whole square so it will be 0 so we have 3a upon 4 into 2 8 so this is our s1 so remember s1 is 3a upon 8 now again we will find s2 s2 is theta going from pi by 6 to pi by 2 ds ds is 3a sin theta cos theta d theta again we are going to use the same formula this is f of theta this is f dash of theta 3a is constant so so when we perform this integration we will have sin theta the whole raised to n plus 1 that is 2 upon 2 and here we apply the lower limits and upper limits so we have 3a by 2 and inside the bracket we will have upper limit minus lower limit so when we put theta equal to, to pi by 2 we will have sine of pi by 2 the whole square that is 1 square minus when we put theta equal to pi by 6 we will have half square that will be 1 by 4 so 1 minus 1 by 4 is nothing but 3 by 4 so this term will be 9a by 8 so this is our s2 so what we have to find we have to find s1 upon s2 s1 is 3a upon 8 s2 is 9a upon 8 if we take the ratio of s1 upon s2 we will get 3a upon 8 into 8 upon 9a 8 8 a a will get cancelled 3 ones are 3 3 three is a 9 so we get s1 upon s2 as 1 by 3 so what we require we require this only that is the line theta equal to pi by 6 divide the curve in the first quadrant in the ratio of 1 is to 3 so this is how we prove this type of problem and more such type of problems we will see in our next video so stay tuned for our future lectures